right guys back to a new video today i'm with a brand new mercedes a class 2024 facelift and in this video we will make the full review interior exterior technical data material quality space everything about this new a class facelift and today i have the sedan version with me and i'm so excited because i like much more the sedan version at least from the design point of view i think it looks much nicer and the back of the car look much much sexy and much more attractive i should say than the hatchback version but it has a little bit of less space in the interior but about that we will talk a little bit later now guys i want to give you some technical data and some information about the car but if you are in germany around germany you can come here at auto house henrik rosier in paderborn i will leave the link in the description they are super nice they will help you with everything here you can find all the new mercedes benz cars and also even the smart the newest is smart so check them out i will leave the link in the description now i want to give you some technical data and information and the price of the car so the version that i have with me right here is the limousine sedan version or salon the way you want to call it is the a200 and we will talk about the technical data in a second the starting price of the car of the version that I have with me it's 33,685 euro in Germany at least depending which country you are the price might be different but it comes also with a few extra options for example the polar white color 230 euro then we can see on the second page right here we have like optional panoramic glass roof that cost you around 1000 uh, euro and it's really beautiful i will definitely add it as an option if i would buy the car it has also the hook here 850 euro and i will show you also when we go uh, in the back there other than that if you go at the full price will be around 45,969 euro will be the price of the car and I think for a Mercedes around 45,000 euro I think it's more than enough and it also come with a lot of standard option that we will talk as we go in the video but in general those are the information and I forget to tell you that the car come also with progressive line advance 2,840 euro it's also uh, extra to that price now let's talk a little bit about the technical data and then we'll start with the review exterior interior as always so the version the 200 version come with a 1.3 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line it's a front wheel drive system and it's also a mild hybrid system that means it comes with a small electric motor integrated into the transmission that help the petrol engine sometimes when it's coasting when it start and sometimes to lower the emission and also to lower the consumption so keep in mind it's a mild hybrid system now the power of the system 163 horsepower 270 newton meters the top speed of the car 230 km per hour 0 to 108.3 seconds the co2 emission around 143 grams and the consumption around 5.7 liters all this power is connected to a seven speed automatic transmission gdct the trunk space 395 liters in case you're wondering the electric motor power it's around 14 horsepower 150 newton meters and it's integrated in the transmission as i said before also the fuel tank capacity 43 liters the turning circle 11 meters in terms of suspension the front suspension we have independent tag mcpherson with coil spring and anti-roll bar and the rear suspension coil spring torsion and we have ventilated brake discs on the front and normal brake discs on the rear now guys those are the most important information about the car now we will go outside to make the review a little bit talking about the exterior design then we go inside multimedia everything and in the end we will make the conclusion so yeah let's do it guys all right first of all let's start with the key this is the key and to be honest guys probably see the, this key it's for a few years on the on the mercedes they use it on mercedes cars but in comparison with the newest this key that i saw it on the new eqe for example where it's a little bit bulky and bigger this one it's quite quite nice i have to tell you i like much more this one because you can slide it in your pocket much more easier anyway what you can do with the key you can unlock the trunk even though 
is not an automatic lift gate. You just unlock it from here and the trunk will open up like it is uh, automatic. So it's a very, very smart system. So keep in mind, you have a manual lift gate on the trunk, but you can open it from here. If you want to close it, you can close it from here. But the cool part is that you have, you can open it also from the key. So for example, when you have things in your hands, you can do that. Another thing that you can do, of course, you can lock the car and unlock the car, but the car come with keyless entrance. That means on the both sides, if you put your finger here, you can lock the car. And if you want to unlock it, you can unlock it from all four doors. So all four doors have those sensors to lock and unlock the car. So this is really cool. Now let's turn on the lights and talk about the exterior design. In terms of version, it's kind of basis it doesn't have amg line or amg package or exterior rims or complicated stuff it's just the basic things with a few improvement that doesn't transfer to the exterior design and here you have the perfect car in order to see if you want to buy a basis mercedes a class sedan and i have to tell you the car look sporty look nice look attractive even though if they didn't add crazy sporty elements to it and it's a simple car i have to say with a simple added on a little bit of chrome design around the edges of the windows a little bit of chrome on the handles and a little bit of chrome on the rear so it kind of fake out the exhaust pipes on the rear there even the uh, logo the logo actually the mercedes logo uh, it's in chrome and also writing here a 200 in chrome but other than that i like the simplicity of the car and i like how elegant it is mercedes was always an elegant car and it has some lines and some shapes if we cut this area here and the front one this middle part i have to tell you that it looks a lot like an s class it's really beautiful it's really attractive but in the same time quite quite simple i like also the front end it keeps it still keep the front end even though it's a facelift they change a little bit the front and also the the headlamps and the tail lights i will talk about that a little bit later uh, in details but if you look at the car it's built on the same platform it's practically the same car with a little bit of improvement here and there and i like the fact that they still keep that front end aggressive front end and also that helped with aerodynamic but also helped the car to look unique and a little bit aggressive and that's why probably the car don't need any sporty element to make it look better i'm 173 centimeters and the car stay relatively low that means we still have the same great driving feeling that we have on the previous version up here you have the glass roof that's optional around 1000 euro i will show you later here we have the cameras the sensors for light and raining and also the cameras that help the autopilot and all that driver assistance systems like lane assist and uh, reading the traffic speed limit and also of course it works together with the radar that it's here behind the mercedes logo behind this mercedes logo is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features the car doesn't come with 360 degrees camera it's an optional but you have have a place here you see for the models that uh, they come with this option other than that gorgeous grill the same signature grill i think this grill from my point of view it's one of the most beautiful and i don't know if it needs any changes and i like also the chrome and the way they design it of course air intakes here some pedals behind there that they are open right now and closed depend what the engine need to be cooled down or not then you have some air intakes here again some chrome design on the down part but pretty pretty nice area the bumper is quite nice also some black elements the car come with six sensors on the front also on the rear also six i will show you later and on this version that i have with me right here doesn't come with matrix led light you have to pay optional for them but it comes with those led lights high bin low bin turning signals everything it's led but it, you don't have the matrix led light that are a little bit better in the night time i have to say that mercedes-benz writing on the side and then you have also the logo here they are they put a lot of work and they put a lot of uh, attention in small details and i like that the hood it's also nice quite aggressive you have this crest here on the on the hood that looks quite nice the mirrors 
pretty simple in the same color as the car. They are installed on the body of the car, LED light here. Uh, the mirror is relatively small because they want to improve the aerodynamic. Then you have the blind spot technology, chrome around the windows. Everywhere you have this chrome. It looks very nice in combination with the handles. I think it fits quite, quite nice. It looks really, really cool. It looks fancy, man. I mean, the chrome will always look business and nice. I don't know. Then talking about the doors, you can hear the quality. If I close the, the eyes and we will play a game, I will always know a Mercedes car from the sound. Very good quality also on the doors. In the back here, you have the brake light right here integrated into the uh, rear window and we have tinted window here, tinted window on the side. Uh, also here you have the tank on the driver's side. I like that. Very simple to, to open. Then we go in the back. I love the back end. The way it looks, the sedan, this limousine version, it looks really nice. It adds a little bit of premium, a little bit of, I don't know, expensiveness to the car. And it has some edges and some area from some angles. When you look at the car, you're a little bit confused and it looks so much with an S-Class. The lines and the way it comes, it's really a beautiful car. I like it. The changes are here in the taillights, of course. We have new taillights on this facelift that they look a little bit better. Of course, full LED, turning signals, reverse light, fog lamp, everything is LED. But you can see from the images right now that they look a little bit different. In general, pretty simple. No spoilers, no crazy added on to the car. It's just simplicity and yeah clean and nice six sensors on the rear some light reflectors here some fake exhaust pipes with some plastic mat and other than that relatively simple led lights of course on the number plate and the camera will come out from there so in general this is the exterior even the rims we have 17 inch rims here pretty simple rims a lot of rubber so that help also over the bumps with the uh, comfort then we have if I'm not wrong, brake discs, yes, normal brake discs on the rear and in the front the car come with ventilated brake discs. You can see it from here. So in general, I don't know, it doesn't look incredible sporty, but it's practical. So for 45,000 euro these days with those prices that are growing, it looks super nice also on the exterior. But we will go inside because there you will see the impressive things happen the engine it's on and you can see how silent it is it's very silent and i like that very much at least these days uh, when the electric cars are on the market it's also very important to have a silent petrol engine now i like the fact that you have an automatic lift gate also on the front part this is the engine this is the way they are it here so this is the 1.3 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line combined with that mild, mild hybrid system and we have the wiper fluid here is the fuse box the battery air filter it's around here if i'm not wrong the sound insulation is pretty good i mean when you close the the hood and when you stay inside the car you barely hear the engine even if it's running now open the trunk super simple from here just like that and the car come optional with a hook and not only with a hook but you have the possibility to hit it right here in this area in order to open the trunk. This is also a great feature when you have your hands full. And then you have the hook. All you have to do is just pull this button. The hook will come until here. And from here you have to pull it just like that. And now you have a hook. This is also optional. I told you in the beginning of the video that you have to pay extra. So it has some few options on the car, but not too many. A few options that doesn't, I, I tell you, doesn't uh, transfer to the look of the car. They are just for the practicality. Now, when it comes to practicality and the space and the trunk, uh, even the car look better than a hatchback. It has a smaller entrance than a hatchback, of course. But if you don't need that big entrance, I think if you want a better look, I think you should go with a sedan version. If you need more space to carry big items, you should go with a hatchback. If I compare it with Tesla Model 3, I have to admit that here you have more space the entrance it's much more bigger and for the size of the car i have to tell you guys it's more than enough i mean it's quite quite big to fit in big items and uh, big stuff but yeah of course you can carry a fridge or stuff like that but 
you can carry big stuff without any problem and you have some storage space here some hooks hooks in every corner some storage space here and under the floor of course you have a little bit of storage space not too much storage space not a spare tire but you have some storage space here for a few items and the thing is that i review and i saw an a class they have one inside and i think it's the full option where here in this area it has also a 12 volt port i don't know why this one doesn't have a 12 volt port but if you know guys write me in the comments if you want to fold down the seats you can do it from here and then the great part is that you can carry one long item and have two passengers or you can fold it completely like that and this is the space and i like the fact that you can carry a lot of items even if you have a sedan if i go on the side i will show you also the space from here the entrance is big more than enough and i tell you in a second why it's so big because you don't have any i told you always in my videos if you don't have any window in this area they put it on the uh, door that means you have great visibility as a passenger in the back and you have a bigger entrance here and i think it's the perfect choice for those type of cars from here you can see also the entrance pretty pretty good entrance and you can see also the space there in the trunk and the way it looks uh, in this area and also the seats come almost almost flat and the quality here it's also good so yeah not bad from my point of view pretty practical and also on the legroom even though if you have that transmission down on that it's big you still have a lot of space here on the legroom to put different items now if you want to put it back you have to take the seat belt just like that put it back very simple and as I show you before I have to close it yes you have a button here you press this you pull this button and then you can carry long items and have two passengers here again super practical and I like that now I want to close this and then we will go inside so easy and also even this one have good quality in terms of doors you have one window here that you can fold it down and completely you can fold it down that's great doesn't have double glassing so it have a simple glass here on the rear in case you're wondering one fixed window here it's good quality so we don't have any plastic like in other cars here we have kind of a I, sh I don't know it feels like leather and also here the same it's a little bit stronger here but here is much more softer you have the stitches leather everywhere very good quality only down here you have some plastic you have some chrome it looks great it feels great those buttons feel really good quality you have a speaker and some storage space and this is the entrance in the car relatively big entrance um, as i said before and you can see here inside plenty of space i will go inside and i will show you how much space you have but from this angle you can see those beautiful beautiful seats mercedes makes some of the some of the best seats and it's an interesting combination here because you have like leather on the side and then in the middle we have this fabric material so we have some stuff fabric material in this area but the quality and the way they feel it feels really really stable and, and good quality two is of fix for child you can install two child seats also in the middle you have this armrest with two cup holders right here so you can close it and open it just like that behind the front seat some plastic some storage space if i go inside here we have an usb c only one and some storage space but no vents in the back go inside the car close the door let me close it again I want to show you the space this is my driving position and this is the space behind myself i think it's more than enough space what do you think more than enough space behind myself and i can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat so it's just fine but what i notice is the same like in electric cars where your knees will stay a little bit higher i'm not sure the reason but you can see i have like four fingers over here so it's the same as i stay behind in a model 3 in tesla model 3 or a model s something like that but other than that the space on the head like four fingers more than enough and i'm 173 centimeters so you will be fine in the back here if you are very very tall you have to to try it out before but if you are around 185 maximum i think you will be just fine and the legs room for me is just good the seat here his position is great and the visibility it's fabulous this is the best thing here because the visibility it's incredible incredible good up here on the roof the quality is good i will give it from one to ten an eight here it's led light i love it and you have also a nice hook 
super cool quality. And then you can see this glass roof that is optional, also around 1000. Now, if you go in the middle here, you have a flat floor, I like that, but it's all leather. That means good space on your knees and on the head, like three fingers, a little bit less space here, only three fingers. Cannot stretch my hand completely. And also here, I cannot stretch it completely, but I think the quality and the, the comfort here in the middle, even though down here it's stiffer and you have leather and also on the back it's stiffer, I don't know why it feels much more comfortable than in other cars. Maybe because they make it much more flatter and much more longer here. You have, yeah, you have a better comfort. And I think I can stay here for short, medium trips without any problem, up to 500 kilometers. I can stay here. Now we will go in the front and we will talk about the new multimedia system and the new changes there. I have to say, I have to admit, they made a few changes, small changes, but the cockpit in general, the dashboard in general, look uh, quite the same and it's very good. This is a good thing because uh, it already look gorgeous and I have to say those vents are my favorite, one of my favorite uh, design. Now, Let's go in the front and let's talk about those things there. All right, here in the front door, the same high quality here, leather, here, leather, uh, the same the same plastic is only here. You have a light here that reflects in the nighttime, some storage space, plenty of storage space. Uh, here is the button to open the trunk. We have the speaker here again. Then we have the buttons for the windows, uh, adjustable mirrors electrically, handle, lock and unlock button. Here we have some ambient light. I don't know if you can see it, but it's here integrated in the door. And then we have this kind of a fake carbon fiber uh, effect that looks really interesting and really nice and also very nice it's integrated those uh, controllers for electric seats so we have electric adjustable seats for the driver and also for the passengers and also you have heated seats and you have free position to save those seats then you have a plate with mercedes benz here then you have normal pedals so no aluminum pedals on, on this version and check this out this is the entrance and those are the seats, the same leather with fabric material in the middle. Very nice seats, they look super nice and they are super comfy. I drive the car before and they feel super nice. So side support, side support, stove material. You can open this up just like that. Good, good quality. I like them very much. Now here in this area, on the down part, you have plastic and then we have the same soft material here in this area, soft material here. We have the same insertion here and then we have the glossy piano black, the controllers for the lights, the electronic handbrake, and also this is the fog lamp. And we have my favorite turbine vents. They feel so good quality. They have LED lights inserted in the middle there. I think they, will, they should keep this as a design, as a signature design, because they were kind of the first to do something like that, turbine the vents to look so beautiful. And I think they should keep it on, the, on their cars for many, many years in this kind of a design, because I think it's incredible nice. I mean, I love them. From the first day when I saw them, uh, I love those vents. The visibility outside, it's good. You can see also in the mirror around the windows and also in the back there, so almost no blind spot. And I was sur super surprised to see how good visibility you have in the window in the back. Uh, it's almost like you're having a hatchback. Now you can see one more time the seats in the back. Down here you have some armrest with leather, huge space, two USB-C, super useful. Then you have glossy plastic in the middle, some plastic here, but you have this glossy piano black. Now guys, I saw and I hear so many complaints from uh, some people that they drive the A-Class before. Here, if you remember, was that controller to control the multimedia system, you know, that touch pad where you control the multimedia. Now is no more here. Now they choose to leave it empty to put some items and to make two cup holders and here is a wireless charging for your phone, an USB-C and here you have a 12 volt port and here you have a button for dynamic. So for example, let me start the engine. Here's the start uh, engine button is the same and here dynamic button. It's for changing the driving mode. So you have like comfort, echo, sport mode and individual if you go to individual you can individualize so different driving modes so for example let me show you if you go to uh, driving eco comfort sport steering sport and comfort and uh, traction control so that's all 
but uh, keep in mind from here you can change different driving mode you have also this for the volume and then you have this button for the camera so if the car will have 360 degrees camera you will see here but this one doesn't have it has only a reverse camera and it's a very good reverse camera because the resolution is pretty good uh, and you can see it right here the way it looks also you can activate uh, the parking sensors and all that stuff so in general uh, those are the buttons here on the center console and we have of course they keep this physical button for climatic system i like that very much i think this is super super useful and i think this is the one that they should keep because from here you change the temperature you change the van speed so you don't have to uh, go in the uh, multimedia system and this is a good thing you know because they take out this controller but i don't know if i would complain because i have the climatic system here yes and why would you go there while you're driving maybe to set the navigation i don't know what do you think tell me in the comments i think it's fine i think you can get used with it just like that but of course will be much nicer to have a controller here i said always i told you that it's much better when you're driving to control with this touchpad then to go into the screen and touch there even though you can see on this a class the screen is smaller and it's a little bit more behind the steering wheel it's not like here you know if it was around here you just touch it really fast but this one you have to stretch out a little bit behind and then change different settings and while you're driving it's not so fun you know maybe that way the people complain but yeah i let you choose what you think about that and also i have to say that i would definitely split this screen even though it looks great you can see from the driver point of view the the cockpit look phenomenal it's just perfect but if you look at the multimedia it's somehow very close from my peripheral view it's very close to the steering wheel so it kind of cut a little bit from the screen down there so it was much nicer if it was separate or a little bit more on the right side or a little bit more forward here in this area so you can access it uh, much more easier because i feel a little bit like it's too far away but in general it's okay now let's talk about the steering wheel the steering wheel you can adjust it manually forward backward down up quality is very good and also the grip it's great it looks phenomenal but i will definitely love that amg steering wheel it will look much nicer here but it's nice it's it's good quality now they still keep those touch sensitive buttons and i have to say mercedes have the best touch sensitive buttons on the market these days it's much more responsive than it's in other cars and it totally makes sense to keep it here so you can see uh, how easy i go through the menu and by the way this is the menu there on the screen so you can customize the way you want it then look it's very responsive to my touches and this is the sport mode it looks really cool and then you have the classic mode and you can see how easy i go through the to the menu and to the settings there so that's why i tell you the touch sensitive buttons are awesome and i don't think they should change it they should leave it like that because it's work great and they look great they are super super good with this and here you can control the cruise control autopilot stuff and here you can control the voice command and telephone and you can control from here you can control that screen so you don't have any more this controller here but from here if you learn how you can control that multimedia system so you can do it uh, very fast and very easy because it's very responsive so you don't have to stretch out there to use the touch screen you can do it also from here so yeah you have more options to do what you want to do now you have some pedals behind here if you want to have some fun with the car it's very simple all you have to do is just go to the let me show you go to the menu where you should where, wait a second you have to go to the settings first or you go directly up here if you go directly up here to the vehicle you have a vehicle up here you go to the vehicle and then you put manual shifting then you can use these manual pedals so to have some fun with the car but in general you have also the same stock for automatic transmission right here parking drive reverse super easy and super nice it's perfect the way it is and i want to show you also the cockpit the cockpit it's one of the best from my point of view and it's kind of the same cockpit that mercedes use it also on their cars so you can customize it as you see before understated you can have the sport mode right there in the front uh, you can have also the classic view and in the middle you can choose to have the map or whatever you want to see it looks also good and it's so customizable and it's so so good from my point of view 
you have even the navigation all over the screen. You have the assistance systems and all that uh, information when you drive, it will show you the cars around, the lane assist and all that stuff. Uh, and then here in the middle, we have the information about the service. So super cool cockpit and the brightness and the visibility, it's really, really good. I have to say it's, it's super good. I wanna show you also the glow box first, big glow box. And you have a light there, really huge glow box, soft material here, soft material here. You have the same beautiful, beautiful trim here with some ambient light. Then you have a speaker in the front there. And up here you have the mirror and look at the visibility, man. I mean, it's for a, for a sedan salon, it's impressive how good visibility is. The window in the back, it's super, super good. And also the mirror, it's quite big and it has these nice tiny edges, super high class. Up here, the same crystal light i call it it looks really nice the way it looks it's like a uh, five star hotel lights then we have here a mirror led light super good and then you have speakers on a pillar so on the both sides and the last but not least the multimedia system and we will talk a little bit about it even though i complain a little bit about the the controller in the middle i have to be honest and I have to tell you that it's very responsive and it goes through the menu incredible fast. It's very responsive also with navigation system. And I have to say it's one of the best navigation system and multimedia system. And it's kind of the same software as they use on other much bigger and much more expensive uh, Mercedes bands. So great job from this point of view i really love it so you can see you can set here very simple the destination add or replace replace Please the destination the it's loading very fast it's really really good but of course i wish to be a little bit bigger and a little bit more on the right side here you have the apps that you can install it here on this application then you have the comfort uh, the seats and the ambient light you can change the ambient light brightness and effect uh, then you have the settings of the car. Here on the settings you have assistance systems, the driver assistance systems, uh, active steering assist and active distance assist and all that stuff. You find it here, collision avoidance. All that settings are here, assistant, traffic assist and camera. And then you have the vehicle settings like driving, comfort, tires, you can see manual shifting, automatic filling stations, uh, search, car washing mode. Then you have comfort here, easy entrance, open and close, dynamic select, the lights, and you saw it before. And let me go back. And then you have the system where you have all that settings like uh, language, keyboards, control element, audio from here. You can control the audio, internet and Bluetooth, data protection, time and date, software updates and then information about the car. And the last one, information here where you can see the consumption, you can see the vehicle information, and you can see the engine from here. When you accelerate, you can see right there. It looks really cool. Crazy responsive, it's one of the best, and I have nothing to say about this multimedia system. In general, I think I cover everything. One of my favorite part, guys, I have to tell you, those vents make all the money. <laughs> I love them. Anyway, that was the video. That was the review with brand new Mercedes A-Class 2024 facelift sedan. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos. Uh, if you still have questions, ask me down below whatever you want to ask. Also, check them out because they are super nice. If you are in Germany, around Germany, in Paderborn, you can check out Auto House Rossier. Uh, they are super nice. I will leave the link in the description so you can check them out really nice people they will help you with all the questions you have my rating for this mercedes a-class facelift from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 i think they still have a few things to improve here for the price but in general the quality it's fabulous that was the video if you want to see the test drive with the same car i wait you next days on the channel probably the videos are already on the channel check it out if they are not they will come next days so stay close thank you very much i hope you enjoy it Stay safe and see you soon. Bye, guys.